Morning, everybody. Just a quick one from me. There's, I'm, I'm, I'm getting messages all the time. What mapping system do you use? Which is the best one out there? Now, for me, I use OS Maps. Not saying it's the best, but for me, it's worked. And I think a lot of you have gone that route as well. So just to give you some idea on how I do things, this is going to be a, a very much of a beginner's way of plotting. Just to give you some idea on how to pin a route, save it and use it. For the weekend or whenever you want to go go out on the bike so when you open os maps i've gone for the um subscription i think it's a premium one at 28.99 a year which i don't think is dear so when you go into your screen you'll have your map section like this and when you scroll in with your two fingers or two thumbs you will get it to go like that so that will give you that section the more you scroll in the more closer the byways get so all the, red by, all, the, all the red crosses there are byways. The further you scroll in, they would turn green. Now I prefer to use it as green, it brings it a little bit closer, and uh, for me it just works. So how do we plot a route? So we're in, we're in that screen, you've got your three bars at the top here, press them, and you go create route. On foot, on bike, on more, we're going more, and we're going other. So you've got your black slide down bar, as I call it there, where it says plot, undo, style, remove, close, etc., etc. So mine's already set in the plot route, but go into style, that gives you the color of line you want. I find black is the best line color. Um, you're, you're, you're following this on, a, on, a, on your phone, on the bike, so it needs to be quite clear. Red seems to just blend in with everything, likewise with green. I've gone black and I've gone for thick as well. So save that. As, as, as a however you want whatever color um, so it let's let's start plotting which is the best thing so let's say we're going to start at the John Deere place we're starting on the John Deere place there and it's literally you scroll in and tap on the byways it's just literally tap tap that's it so let's just say you've made a mistake and you want to go back you go undo undo and that takes you back however far you want to go back Right, so let's just do a, a little route, heading out onto the plane. Now, one thing you'll have to do, guys, is try to get as close onto that line as possible, the, the crosses as possible, because the slightest, you know, if you go offline slightly, it could take you down a track you're not meant to be on. So, for example, here, if you just went slightly off there, you could end up going down the wrong track. So there we go, literally keep plotting, keep plotting i'll carry on and do right that one there guys where it's just a plain green line that is not a byway so don't get clicking on those just the green crosses or the red crosses so we're heading out i mean this is basic plotting guys there's a lot more this can do this it's very clever system but this is really much the basics for you guys to get to get the get the the, the gist off Carry on, carry on. So we're heading out. This should work out to be probably just over nine miles long in total. And keep going. The other thing what you must remember to do is when you set it on your phone is to set your screen so it's permanently on. Um, don't make the uh, the mistake I did at first when riding along all of a sudden your phone goes off a couple of minutes down the road because uh, you set your screen to like six minutes or whatever, ten minutes. Set it as obviously it stays on all the time. Right, so we're getting close now to the uh, the German village as we know it. We just keep on plotting. There we go. So there's the German village, the army training village as we know it. This seems like it takes quite a while, guys, but it honestly doesn't. It's um, it's pretty straightforward, really. So we're heading back down to where we come from. And there we go. We're back down 
to hunt John Deere. There we go. So at this stage, you've done your route, what you wanted. You're happy with it. All you've got to do now is save. Route name, we'll call this Lesson on OS. Oh, didn't like OS. OS Maps. So route description, if you're doing a nice route around Wells, you can put scenic spots, you can put fuel stations if it's a nice long route and you need fuel stops. That can all go in there. Technical difficulty, well, that is, we're going to set that at moderate. It's only rutty, a little bit of compact chalk on that route, so it's not too bad. I always set mine as private because a lot of my routes are on Salisbury Plain, which is military. Some areas are closed with red flags, so I don't want people just picking that up and heading out and thinking they can go on a route. And it is simply saying, save route. And there's the route, guys. And then obviously, if you want to go out on that route, start route, follow it from, from where you've pinned the start. Um, something else to remember, guys, is these lines down here where it's, where it's north in your compass, set there's, there's various settings you can put on there to follow the route as you're on it, or you do it as the crow flies sort of thing. I, do it as the crow flies or as you're set. So sometimes you could be riding up but the route's taking you down because it's following the compass side of things um i always set mine so it's in the line that i'm going as the crow flies it just helps with your lefts and rights but again that's down to personal opinion and options i guess uh, i hope that helps guys if there's any help um, and support you need just give us a shout i'm by no means an expert in this i've picked it up as i've gone along and um, i'm sure you guys will as well all right that's me done have a great weekend, chaps and lasses. Speak to you soon.